Okay, I'll show you my technique um, for doing windows. I first sprayed it with a pump sprayer with uh, soap, vinegar, and I um, actually used a little bit of Windex. But uh, soap and vinegar, or just a little soap, whatever. And then I come back, um, after I spray all the windows with the pump sprayer, with the chemical, then I just use something that will work, like this, a mop, and I rub it all in. So if it's like really deeply penetrating, just like a car wash, you know, sometimes you have to rub it in with the sponge thing. If you ever do the car wash, you'll realize just spraying it with soap and then spraying down it with water, it doesn't get it, it doesn't get that dirt fully off. You gotta scrub it. So I, so I scrub it in and then this, this, and then because I put so much soap on it, I just, I just have to take a hose all around the house and just spray it all down until all the suds are totally clear. And then, for the final technique, I got another pump sprayer, and I fill it with reverse osmosis water because, um, because one thing you could do is as soon as you spray it down, then you could squeegee it. But you see, this is on, that's on the other side of the hose, but right here, for example, where I'm, where's my finger? Like, um, you see these little marks left after it dries? Those are because the, of the impurities of the water. So like this little dot, say, of water here, when it dries, it'll probably leave a slight little residue. And then you, but if you spray it, spray it final with uh, reverse osmosis water, there's no impurities in the water, you know. You can uh, use a zero tester on it, and it'll test out as zero. So there's nothing in the water, so it'll dry super clean. And, um, and so you don't need to squeegee, and that saves time, but the thing is, with squeegeeing, it's just a little speck of dirt on the squeegee or something or wherever can can tend to really scratch the windows. See this? See like that? Those impurities here. Get to look at how easy I just fingerprinted it. Um. So we'll do that, and if there is any marks after the reverse osmosis, I'll have to go with the squeegee technique. And then on the inside, I'm just going to do it the traditional way in which I take a rag with a little soap and water and, um, and do a wipe on it and then squeegee it off. Or maybe just a little spray Windex and then just squeegee it off. Or if I got a cloth that doesn't leave any residue behind, I can use a cloth as well, which seems to even work better. So I'm using this. And, uh, deionized ozonated. So that's it's it's reverse osmosis. I tested it at zero parts per million. And they have dried completely in the night because I sprayed reverse osmosis on it. Cleaner. So I'm almost gone. Otherwise, there's a little, there's a little residual drops. And that is from the impurities in the water. That's from the chlorine in the water. That's from the fluoride in the water sometimes. Here, they don't, one of the rare places that doesn't, where a city doesn't fluoride, fluoride the water. Fluorinate the water, but um, all, every country in the world other than the U.S. doesn't fluoride, fluoride the water. Hmm, I wonder uh, who owns our government, people that are, that are our friends or not. Every country in the world, except for America. You know what sucks about that? It's not the fluoride that uh, causes docileness and um, gives you fluorosis from uh, with your teeth and doesn't help you at all. It doesn't it hasn't shown that it doesn't help at all to ingest fluoride for your teeth. Um, but it also causes, causes spotting in the windows. All right, fully dry. It's gone. Look at that. Clear as a bell. Nothingness. It works.